Rick, and we're getting ready to do a spot test on some ore for platinum group as well as gold. Two on two of the darker ones, the one farthest towards the left is a spot test using stannous chloride and aqua regia. Second one over towards the right, and that's done with potassium iodide and aqua regia. The other two green spots are the actual ore. Here it is in the glass dish. You can see it against the white background. It is quite green. I have never saw aqua regia turn green on an ore before, but it surely did on this one. Anyway, back to the dish at hand. And I'll try it again right here on cam so you can see the reaction. And this is with stannous chloride. Stannis is getting a little bit weak, it looks like. Let it sit a little too long while I messed around doing some other tests. But that's okay. Still showed the brown reaction, brown black, indicating that it's a gold palladium mix. The potassium iodide is the interesting one. Watch this. Yeah, there's a reaction for you, huh? immediately turned brownish black. That there is definitely a reaction for palladium. The more I put in there, the darker it goes too. Interesting, huh? I think so anyway. But there we go. There's a spot test on an ore that definitely tests positive for gold. There you can see it's starting to turn now, showing the black and the brown. Brown's a common color with stannous chloride indicating a gold palladium mix. This one here went way black. That's generally the color it turns whenever it's a high concentration of palladium. Usually it will go to a wine red first with potassium iodide, then go to that black. This one jumps straight to black regardless. That was a nice reaction with the stannous chloride earlier. But, as you can see, they all reacted. And I guess, since I'm doing this, I might as well grab some gold standard solution and put it in my dish too and show the reaction for gold. So, we'll just pan and we'll reach right over here. I guess I'll pan over here across my messy workspace. Reach over here, grab my gold chloride, pan back to my spot testing dish, attempt to open the Pepsi bottle. I keep it in with one hand. And put a little bit in spot testing dish. That's excessive. That's overkill. But we can definitely get enough there to play around with some potassium iodide as well as stannous chloride. Never done that before. But yeah, there must have been some stannous chloride in that. Check that out. Must have used that one to dip stannous with earlier. But as you can see, there was definitely enough there for it to react big time. Yeah, that's the one I had the water in. That one turned black like that because it was full of freaking stannous chloride already. Yeah, potassium iodide. Potassium iodide and auric chloride. Turns the amber gold color. Oh, there's your various tests. You saw what it did there. I tried to suck it up with the wrong pipette, and there was tin of stannous chloride inside it, so immediately it turned it all black. Not exactly the way I wanted to show you the reaction, but nonetheless it works. That's Mars black, ink, dark, yeah. You can't see through that. That's solid black. 
There's that one. That's definitely a nice yellow color with a potassium iodide. That one there's a blank. We didn't put anything in that one. Maybe we did. I forgot if we did. It's done starting the shit reactions going away. But there you have it. Stannous chloride, potassium iodide. None of this aquaregia was noxed either. This is straight off the ore. I didn't do none of the boil down procedures on any of it. This is just the way it looks whenever you're going straight for the throat using potassium iodide and stannous chloride on aquaregia looking for a quick hint indication that there's something there. And this is what we got. Anyway, thanks for watching.